Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be doing this winter text project. And in this case, we're going to be using a picture in text technique to put all this ice crystals in here on top of the lettering. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let me just close this and we'll start off with our initial image, which is this one right here. This nice wintry background scene, nice and cold. Let me reset our colors to black and white. There we go. Let me go down here to the photo bin. Notice that I have two pictures down here. This is the one for the background, and we'll be using this picture to add the ice crystals into the text. Okay, let's go back here. Now, the first thing we need to do is to put in our text for this. I'll just grab the type tool over here. And what you're looking for is a real thick typeface. Now, it's easy to see. If I scroll through real fast here, you'll see these things just kind of pop out because they're so thick. Like these are beginning to get pretty dark in there. That's good. Those are pretty good. You want something that has enough thickness in the lettering to be able to show a picture inside. You know, thin things will not show your picture, so you want to have some kind of a really thick typeface. So let's go back down here to the one that I've chosen, which is the Gil Sands Ultra Bold. I like this because it's just a simple typeface, but it's very, very thick. A lot of room in here to put in a picture, so we'll use that one. And I'll set my type size here. You can just type it in right down here. I'll set this to 120 just to start off with. We may adjust that if we need to. Letting doesn't matter. I'll put that at auto. And color should be black. There it is. We'll change our color later when we get down to that point. And I'll set this for left justified. Okay, now just over in here someplace, click in there, and you get this line happening. That's your insertion point. I'll type in the word, and that's a bit too large. So let's just double click, and let's bring our size down 72. Let's see how that does. And I'm missing the eye. Fix that. There we go. Now it's a little bit too big. And it's kind of going off to the sides. So now you can change the size here just by dragging on the corners. Click on a corner and you can then move it a little bit. And once you do that, notice how the outline changed here. We gain more space down below. Let me just show you that again. So I'll click onto the letter. If you don't see these control handles out here, hold the control T keyboard shortcut down and you'll see those control handles. And then you can grab that corner and pull that in and actually make your type size larger or smaller. Also at this point, you can make it taller if you want to. Just grab this middle one. You can stretch your type up or down. So you have some ability in here to really get the size exactly what you want. And I'll put it right here. A little taller gives us more space, of course. There we go. Now that's our first text layer. Now go up here to that text, right click and duplicate layer. Choose OK. And I have two text layers. I'm going to hide this layer right now. We'll come back to that. This is going to be our shadow. I'll just type in shadow right there. And then up here, this is the main text layer. Okay, now let's go down to the photo bin, bottom left-hand corner. Here's our second picture right here. What I'm going to do is go back to our original picture, and then I'll just take this thumbnail, don't click on it, just grab and drag, and you can drag that right into your other picture. There we go, it just kind of drops in like that, so you can easily combine both pictures in one. Now the size is a little off, as you can see on this, so I'm going to grab the side here, just make it a bit larger, and make sure it covers up the whole text. There we go, and click the green check mark for OK. We now want to put this inside of our lettering, so let's go over here and right click and come down to create clipping layer. It goes inside the lettering right there. Now it's a little hard to see. Everything we're doing from this point forward is just designed to make the text easier to see on the page. But we do have our crystals in here, our ice crystals on top of the letters, and that was the main idea for that. Now, let's change the color in here of our text. And we'll do that by making a new layer on top right here. And go over here to the color picker, click on the foreground color, that's that black box here. And then in the color picker, change the color number down here. This is your hexadecimal numbers right there. Change this one to A996C3. And that's just kind of a light purple. And choose OK. And then take the paint bucket and click in here someplace. And that fills that layer with that light purple color. Now you can choose a different color if you want to. I chose this color just because it contrasts well with the background color. It makes the lettering pop out. OK. Now to put this inside the lettering, same trick again, right click and create clipping mask. It now goes inside the lettering. Of course, we've lost our ice crystals, so that's easy to do. We're going to blend this color layer into the stuff underneath. Let's go up here to our blend modes and come down to overlay and click on that. And there we go. So that then allows those crystals to show through that color. Of course, just a little bit darker as well, but that's just fine. So there we go. There is the ice crystal look on the lettering. Let's now make this stand out a bit better by putting a bevel onto the edge. Come down to your text layer right here. 
and then come down where it says Styles, Styles button, and click on this one right here. This is the Simple Sharp Inner, and it gives you a nice hard edge bevel. Now you can't do that one step if you use the Layer Styles up here, Style, Layer, Layer Style, Style Settings, and Bevel. This only gives you a soft edge bevel, so you have to use that button to get the hard edge bevel. Once you have the hard edge bevel, you then can adjust the size right here if you want to. So you have that ability to adjust it. You just can't place that on directly in here from the Style Settings dialog box. Okay, choose all right. There we go. There's our nice hard edge bevel on that. And back to our layers again. This is all looking pretty good. Let's now go back to our shadow layer right there. And make sure that you're on the Move tool and that show that layer. And then I'll use the arrow keys to move the text down. There we go. And then over until we get a nice bit of a large shadow showing outside. I'm just tapping it a whole bunch of times so it looks good. Again, I want to have a lot of space showing in here, a nice thickness on the shadow so I can put some imagery in there and we can see that imagery in behind. Okay, there's the basic shadow. Let's now change the color for the shadow. So grab the type tool and double click. That's going to select the type. It's in black right now. Click on the color box right here and click on this little icon there, little color wheel icon. And that brings the color picker back up, but in this case, it's back up for the text. Now, right down here in the hexadecimal number area, type in 000254. And that's a nice medium dark blue. And choose OK. And OK, so there's our medium dark blue. And that's the main reason for putting this shadow in as a text layer. Instead of going up here and using layer, layer style, style settings, and the drop shadow right here, this just gives you a black drop shadow. You don't get a color drop shadow. So that's why that text layer. And I want to see some energy through the lettering. We can do that again by using a blend mode. So go up here to our blend modes, come down to overlay, and we can now see that winter scene through that lettering. And now one last trick. Notice our lettering is kind of disappearing right up in here, blends into the background. So let's give our lettering a little thin outline, and that's our text layer right here. And then double click on the FX over here. That's your layer styles. It brings that back up again. And let's give this a stroke. There we go. And at this point, the stroke is in black. So click on that black icon. And then down here, type in that same number again that we used for the shadow. 000254. Choose OK. And that now matches that background just a little bit. And we're going to bring our opacity down. Maybe about 75%. You can actually type that in. 75%. And I'll bring the size up just a bit to six. Choose OK. And there we go. There's our winter text using that picture in text technique to give us these nice ice crystals on our type letters. If you like this video, hit that like button and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And again, there's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.